I'm here with Lathrop Superintendent Chris Fine. You guys had a budget workshop tonight, getting ready for the next school year. Tell me a little bit about uh, how that workshop went tonight, how you felt about it. Well, it went very well, uh, mostly informative for our board and our budget committee people uh, from our community. Um, you know, we just talked about where we've been and where we're headed and trying to you know, try to set some priorities for what we're going to spend and how we might make those. But um, it, it was good, but, I, you know, not a whole lot of decisions made, probably no decisions made, mostly informative as kind of a background to, to get ready to make some decisions. And where do you guys feel you're headed going into next school year and concerned with the budget, uh, s state funds? Where are you guys at at the moment? Well, as you know, uh, it's, it's really up in the air from the state as far as what we're going to get. You know, the governor said we're going to get the same amount of money, but how they divide that up is still a question and, and will be. Um, there's some different scenarios out there between the best case and worst case scenarios makes a $500,000 difference for us, which is a 5% in our carryover. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll have to make some different contingency plans. You know, one plan based on if we get this money and one plan if we get uh, the other direction of money. So, um, you know, that's still all up in the air, but locally it sounds like we're going to be at about the same money, but um, that state money, I guess, is still a question. Now, and, uh, those reserves have gone down a little bit for the school district, of course, as you guys go through this lack of uh, funding from the state. Where do you guys go from here as a whole moving into the next two, three, four years? Well, it's certainly a concern. Um, you know, we started off at the end two years ago with 31%. We'll probably end up this year at about 26, so we're deficit spending about 5%. And if we do nothing different for next year, we'll be at that again, be back down to about 21 um, I certainly don't want to be below 15, so uh, we might be able to do one more year the way we've been going. But uh, we'd also like to get some more technology uh, into our students' hands, and we need to do something with that teacher schedule, salary schedule as well. So uh, there's some more additions we need to make to that, uh, even if we don't do anything different. So, you know, my last um, scenario with worst case state funding level and everything we'd like to do puts us at about an 8% drop in carryover, which you know, we could do that about one time, and then we're not going to be able to do that again next year if that's the way it holds. So uh, it's definitely a question, and, and we were fortunate enough to start off a couple of years ago over 30%, but we're getting back down to where we need to uh, stop spending some. Two years ago, we cut about $800,000 off the budget, so um, that was good, and we're still kind of leaning on those cuts as, as uh, taking us forward. But um, you know, we're good for, for probably another year the way we're going and after that, we may have to look at some cuts again if things don't turn around. Chris, thank you. Well, thank you.